extra minutes. So within the first week you are clearly in your mind uh, being sexually harassed. You've asked a staff member to be with you at all times where possible. Um, you felt you could not be alone with this man anymore. You didn't feel safe, in fact. Why then did you ask, um, in mid-March it would seem, to go on a trip with him to Hungary, uh, a trip that you were prepared to pay for yourself? Mm. I'm glad that we can clear this up because at no point did I ever want to travel with Peter Slipper on that trip. I, at that stage, had dealt one-on-one -on -one with the Hungarian ambassador and she had asked me to come to Hungary and help her with a campaign that we could pitch here in Australia to get more Aussies travelling to Hungary. And it was only her request that I asked him if I could travel to Hungary, hence why I was prepared to pay for my own travel. At no point was I to stay with Slipper. It was, it was already discussed with Anna that I would stay at her house that she still had in her home country. And I said to Peter, the only way that we could do this without me being forced to take holidays, because I didn't have any accrued, was to make it a work trip. But at no point did I want to travel with him, his wife, and the other advisor that went on that trip. But you would have had to have been with him as part of that trip. For a day, yes. Why were you even prepared to do that when this is a man that by now you abhorred? Mm. I was more interested in the opportunity that, that, that lied before me with the uh, Hungarian ambassador. It was an opportunity of a lifetime to see the workings of another parliament and also uh, another country. But, but, why, but why do this with knowing full well you're to be with a man that had caused you such um, hurt and fear? I look at it now and I think it's the most stupid decision I ever uh, really made. But it happened. And, and I, I, look, I, I can't change what happened, but my intentions were to go over with the Hungarian ambassador, not with him. Well, it certainly would have sent a message, I think, also to Peter Slipper that yeah, all was well. Look, it appears that way because that was one of his arguments in his case. At no point did I ever intend for that to be the case. But you can understand why it could be interpreted that way. Well, I, I, I see that he's taken it that way, but no, I still don't understand why he thought that. I guess I ask these questions because uh, the belief is that you're debilitated almost uh, in your job. You are, you are suffering terribly. The last thing that would be on your mind, no matter how attractive the invitation would be, to be anywhere near Peter Slipper. Yeah, it is a good question. but. Um in, in my opinion, at that stage, I was trying to stay focused and positive on the job that I was doing. And this was an opportunity that I thought would be good for me and, um, and could only uh, work in my favour long term. So you saw it as a, a job opportunity, perchance? Definitely, yeah. It was good Nothing for your more. career? Definitely, yeah.